All right, we got another pallet of Amazon customer returns. This retailed for $1,863. Had 125 items in it. I spent $85 plus the fees and the taxes turned out to be $100.05. So let's uh, get to digging and see what we got today. First item up, no markings, let's open it up and check it out. We have a nice photo here. Made in Canada, it's an actual canvas painting, it's very nice looking. We've got a turkey inflatable. That'll definitely be an easy sell. Looks like it could have been open, more than likely it was, but it's a good possibility it's still good. If you get these things and they don't work, you always want to check the fuse. Because 9 out of 10 times, that's what it is. There's an itty bitty little fuse, like a Christmas light fuse, that's in the plug of it. You replace those. Like I said, 9 out of 10 times, they're good. Some refrigerator water filters. Nothing special. Another college t-shirt, which you've seen in the last videos. I got tons of those. We have a, I'm guessing an NBA wallet. I've sold one of these already. It was a college team. 20 bucks. Yep. Exact same thing, except this is LA Clippers. Brand new leather wallet. Be an easy sell. eBay item. We have a dog thermos. These are actually pretty good cups. They keep your drinks hot, keep them cold. Be an easy sell. This is a Le Crusette stoneware. 12 inch oval serving platter. It's got some weight to it. You see, it's brand new. That'll probably be an eBay item. I'll just have to pack it up real good. That way it don't break. That's the only bad thing about it. But it's pretty sturdy, pretty thick, pretty heavy. I guess that's probably easy 20 bucks. There's a lot of Christmas lights in here, which I'm excited about, and I'll explain why in a second. We have some type of case. Not for sure what exactly, I guess, whatever you want it to be. Maybe a fancy phone holder or something that has the cross on there. So maybe some type of medical supply. Not quite for sure. We got another one of those. Christmas cards. Dollar box. And these lights right here. Now you're, you're going to see a lot of these, but I'm excited to have them because these are hot sellers on eBay. These ones right here, for example, you can look them up. I'm selling them all day, every day, one or two a day, at least eight bucks a piece just for the hundred strand. I'm only making about 
350 maybe a little more after shipping and fees and all that but still sorry quick easy sales and I've probably got a hundred of them so you do the math 100 times 350 that's 350 bucks these ones right here are the 200 strand they're going for about nine dollars I'm making approximately about four dollars a box on these after fees and shipping and all that I've sold quite a few of these too making decent money and I just got some of these it's the 300 strand these are all battery operated by the way I think that's one of the reasons why they're selling so fast and so easy but these are the hunter strand I've seen these going on eBay between 15 and 17 dollars they weigh a little more so shipping I'm gonna guess about seven or eight bucks so I'm gonna charge like 12 or 13 just to undercut everybody else and sell the hell out of them so once again another easy five six bucks profit per box and just in this box there's probably 20 20 boxes of lights right there you know, I never thought I'd be excited for Christmas lights but once I got them in the last pallets and I started selling them yeah definitely happy with Christmas lights move on to the next one now there was no rhyme and reason to these when I bought them so it was just miscellaneous shelf holes and returns so I really have no clue what's in these For example, a whole box of shoelaces. And magnetic shoelaces. Nothing special. This just looks like a pillowcase, possibly something of the sorts. Some more of these lights. See, and these ones are different. They're the cold white lights, so they can be used for more than just Christmas. And it says on the box they're also USB operated, so you can plug them right into your computer, your laptop, whatever, if you got them in your room. We have a dog collar, kind of like a snake skin. Could be leather. A Harley Quinn accessory for Halloween. I'll definitely just go in a dollar box there. We've got some type of shirt, it looks like. College shirt. It's pretty nice. If you've seen my last videos with all the clothes, surprisingly, I've been killing it on the clothes on eBay. The hardest part is finding them to list them. We got a pet costume, which I've sold quite a few of these. So, walking pirate. Got a starter shirt. Looks like it's just a plain white shirt. Oh, nope, this NBA, so it's an NBA team. We've got a pink shirt. There we go. 
see that. Dukes. Not too bad. One thing I noticed as I speculated selling the clothes on eBay, the women's clothes sell faster than men's do. This is just a refill, reuse water bottle. And I'm assuming it's been used because it's got some liquid in it, but it could just be condensation. Dollar. Some sports stickers. It's a keychain, but I'm assuming it's like a bottle opener. Probably multi purpose in the shape of a dolphin. Got a champion shirt here, more like a college team. I don't see no tag on it. I believe this is Georgia Bulldogs. Looks like a coat, possibly, or a jacket. Yeah, it's a, like a windbreaker jacket. Brand new. I'm so I believe that's Georgetown. It could be Georgia. Not totally for sure. I'm not too hip on my college teams. A Santa bag with bills. A velvet Santa bag. This will probably be an easy sell. Got a University of Miami t shirt. We have another jacket, college jacket, OSU, maybe Ohio State University, possibly. Two of these boxes, I saw disinfecting wipes. Yep. Big old containers, brand new Lysol wipes. Ugh. Yep. There's three in each box, and I got two boxes of them. Even at three bucks a piece, that's almost 20 bucks right there. And there's 110 wipes in this, so it's a real big container. This probably retails for 10 bucks alone by itself at the store. Got a twin size mattress pad. Don't seem like much of a pad, it seems real thin, but hey. Any cushions, some help, I guess. We just have an empty mason jar. Believe it or not, this is sellable out here where I am. People do a lot of their own canning, that types of things. See no markings, but it feels like a sweatshirt. And it is. It's not a sweatshirt, it's more like a pullover zip up jacket type deal. College team, not for sure which one that is. Pretty nice though. It's thick, so that means warm. When you get these boxes, you always want to check in the very bottom of them, even under the flaps, because you never know what you'll find. Because I've almost thrown away jewelry before. 
had brand new sterling silver rings and necklaces that was tucked under, under the flaps on the inside of the box. Could have threw them away and not even known it. And I got a piece of jewelry here. It looks like a bracelet. Um, No, I think this is some generic knockoff. It says made in Mexico. I don't see no other markings on it. All right, that's it for this box. Let's throw some of this stuff back in here and move on to the next one. We got three more to do. Just off the two boxes you've seen already, I've already made my money back, no problem. I've made my money back just off the lights in the other box. Not to mention uh, the croissant, or croissant, however you say it, dish. It'll take a wild guess, and I'm going to say this is all Christmas lights. the first time I've ever seen a box that has marked heavy. And I think I was right. Uh, this looks like it says it's a spider trap of some sort. Let's, let's open it up and check it out. Hopefully it's not used. I ain't about to pull out a bunch of dead spiders. bunch of different spiders but it's for a microscope God, I can't see that too well I have no clue what this would be worth It'd be something I'll have to check out all this looks like the same kind of same booklet though so could be for like a school of the sorts of some types. Nice little kit though. That's unexpected. And it talks about the spider in the web, the trapdoor spider, the water spider, the black widow spider, the wolf spider, daddy long legs, mites, and scorpions. Yep, it's a teaching aid. It says it right there on the box. No clue what those are worth, but I'll be checking those out. And the rest of it looks like, well, no, because we got some stuff buried down here on the bottom. And I said these lights, so guaranteed money all day. I'm happy to see them. This is a love seat bench cover for outdoor furniture. It's heavy duty. Let's see if we got anything else hiding down here. And we do. Now I am going to take every one of these out of the box, but I'm not going to do it here because, like I said, you need to check in the flaps of the pockets. Some type of baby celebration. It's a baby book, like a baby photo album. That's factory seal. I'm not going to open that up all the way. 
get the gist of it. Pop that open. Yeah, it's just like a little memory kit. This is the photo album. And this is all your little cards and stuff you put in there with it to keep track of all your memories. I'll have to look that one up too. It's hard to tell them what that's worth because stuff like that can be expensive. The rest of it though, yeah, it's all lights. I'm happy with the lights though. I can't say it enough. It's easy money. Don't take much to ship. Don't take much to store. Already got templates listed. more lights, but there's other stuff mixed in here. Don't say what this is. Let's open it up, check it out. Still don't know. <laughs> Got a personal alarm with an LED. Uh, I don't know if it works. Got a light on it. it says you pull the keychain to activate the alarm. There we go. It does work. I know somebody I'll be giving that to. They're probably watching the video. So you can expect this. Oh, some Flexi Whiskey Glass Sets. Set of two. Brand new, still sealed. No clue what these are worth, probably a few bucks a piece, and I've got at least five boxes. There's another one. Some more stickers. Oh, we got another one. Don't know what this is. It's been opened. Feels empty, honestly. this box all the hell trying to figure out what it is. Oh, and it's just falling apart. Oh, it's some type of white. But it looks it looks beat up. So I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it don't work. Oh, there you go. It's plastic, it's cheap, it looks like junk. But who knows? Maybe somebody will be interested in that. 
It's not broke, surprisingly. Looks like it is missing something here, though. Box is empty. There's nothing else in that. And it don't match none of the pictures on the box. Go figure. I know what this is. I've already sold some of these on eBay for 20 bucks a piece. Something I never knew existed until I found them in my last box. It's some feline chemical you put in like an oil burner. You know, like your plug-in glades. You know, you stick this in there and it helps calm the cats. Whether they have separation anxiety or you have multiple cats in your house and the hormones are driving them crazy, supposedly this does a job and this is 20 bucks. It's crazy. I'm going to take a guess and say those are some porch wicks. That's exactly what it is. I always got little boxes hiding down here. A champagne stopper. And we have a twin set of hotel laundry cotton rich sheet set. It's brand new. Have to look that up. See what that might be worth. Oh, we have something else hiding in here, didn't know. LED snow scene light. You know, one of the little things you stick in your yard, that you stake in. It's got the projector with the lights on it. it makes it look like it's snowing around your house. We'll throw all this back in here. Well, some of it. We'll move on to the next and last and final box. More than likely, this is going to be all Christmas lights again. May not be exciting for you, but it is for me. what it looks like. I'll move a few down, see if we got anything hiding down here. And we found a different set. More brand new. Well, we have a shirt hide in there. College shirt. Tribland. It looks like that's all we got in here is more, more Christmas lights. Well, that's it for the video. Like I said, this was $1,800 worth of shelf pulls, I'm gonna call it, because it all basically looked brand new. Paid a hundred bucks for it. There was 125 items total, so I paid less than a dollar a piece. So even if I was to sell everything for three dollars profit, I'm still tripling my money. No problem. I mean, anyone can do this. Literally, anyone can do this. See you in the next video.